Hello and welcome again. Welcome to Christmas Caribbean Delights. This is Chris. And as the Christmas uh, uh, season approaches, I mean, we are like three days away or four days away. Um, all these dishes that you that are being prepared for this season, um, including the garlic pork, uh, which um, this is a this is what I'm going to um, be demonstrating to you um, on this episode. This episode is about the garlic pork. Now, the garlic pork um, is something that we that we made in Guyana, in the Caribbean, in Guyana. And it was inherited from the Portuguese. Uh, they brought that dish um, to, uh, to the country um, and it became a Guyanese dish. Um, we, all, we all made it at Christmas time, but it's something that could be um, enjoyed any time of the year. It's, um, it's just pickled pork with, with lots of garlic. So, um, we're gonna go with the step-by-step -step, uh, instructions, and um, and uh, I'll show you how we do the garlic pork uh, for Christmas, especially for Christmas time. So, before further ado, let's go to the ingredients. Well, we'll first need some pork. The type the pork that I am using is um, the pork shoulder that I had the butcher cut up for me into um, one two inch pieces two inch um, squares or two inch two inch pieces um, I like the 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 shoulder because you can get you get some bone with it you know you can get some bone with it and um, I you, you know it's the, the bone is always uh, a nice thing to have you know when you're when you're um, eating um, so to speak you know so uh, but um, and this, there's, you know, there's the enough skin there also, which is another delectable part of the, of the garlic pork. But, so I did, um, maybe about three or four pounds, um, of shoulder and had it cut up. And so now we're going to proceed to clean these, uh, pieces and before we put them into the, into the, um, solution. Now the first solution, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to add some water, salt, and vinegar to this bowl and wash each piece thoroughly. Um, once I when I once I finish that, um, we'll go to the next step. So, but for now, so let's get uh, some water, some cold water into this bowl. Get some cold water into here. That's enough. And vinegar. Some vinegar, about a half a cup of vinegar, or maybe a cup of vinegar to two cups of water. That's a good. Um, that's a good ratio. And um, we'll do also. A couple of tablespoons of salt. Salt works as an abrasive to um, to get any particles and fat off of the um, off of the meat. Uh, so so we're gonna try to we're gonna mix this all up and rub it all together and get all that stuff off the pieces of meat. You know the little bloody parts and and everything. And we're gonna run it under the water. Once it's once I massaged it all and rubbed them all, getting getting most of the stuff, I mean all of the stuff off of it, and then we're gonna run it under the water and um, to make sure that it's all it's all nice and clean. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, probably inspect every piece and get it done, and then are we going to? Um, I'm going to move, go to the next step. So as I move on from step one, I must say 
the, the rest of the ingredients are the fine leaf thyme, a bunch of thyme, um, four teaspoons of salt you're going to be adding, um, a habanero pepper, and also um, two heads of garlic. It's uh, like a half a pound of garlic, um, eight ounces, but um, you can use like two large uh, heads, or if you have the, um, the, re the, the ones that are already peeled, you'll need to use probably about um, uh, 14 or 15, 15 cloves or 16 cloves. Yeah, they're about, about 16 cloves of garlic. Um, and four cups of uh, four cups of white vinegar so that's what we'll we'll use to um, to marinate um, the garlic and the pepper and the thyme I'm going to put them in the in the chopper and uh, just give that a give that a pulse to get it to chop it up um, but first we have to take care of the um, of the pork now I, after I washed, I gave it that first wash with the salt and the vinegar. I patted it dry. I tried to pat them all dry with, uh, with, a, with a paper towel to get most of that water out of it. So now, my next, my next step for the pork would be another, uh, another wash, kind of, another wash, so to speak. So I'm going to add about a cup and a half or two cup about a, about a cup of a uh, cup and a half of vinegar into a clean bowl right and add some vinegar into a clean bowl now I am I'm going to use the towns to rinse the rinse the pieces off I'm not going to touch the pork again after this so I'm going to get my towns um, and we have the vinegar in here right and we'll just uh, we'll just take the pieces or we can drop a couple of pieces in there and uh, and then and just we're just gonna rinse them off in this vinegar the pure vinegar right and also I forgot to mention your container the container also is uh, has to be very clean um, what I do is I rinse it several times with with vinegar and water I just did again vinegar and water so because this is where you're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put our our clean or clean pork in we'll drop this clean pieces of pork that we're we're, we're washing in the vinegar so we're gonna drop them into that into this uh, glass bottle this glass container where we're going to have everything uh, all the seasonings and and the marinating going on okay so i'll rinse every other every piece i'll rinse in this vinegar and put it into the uh, into the container and i'll be and i'll be back with the with the next step So here we are, I've rinsed, I've rinsed all my pieces and I've laid them in the jar where they're going to marinate. I've rinsed them all. That's close fit, okay. So, we just we do not touch the pork again with our hands so um, here's the vinegar and now I'm going to I'm going to blend get my my spices blend up blended up uh, the habanero and the thyme and we'll mix this we'll mix it into the um, into the pork we mix mix it with the pork at uh, in the bottle so let me get the blender so you might see you need some you need some space in, in order to um, to get the ingredients in there 
So what I did in a nice clean bowl, I just transferred a uh, part of the part of the pork back to this bowl, and um, and then now I'll stir in and I'll add the the, the ground uh, garlic. This is the ground garlic. Um, the, the habanero pepper and the thyme that I that I uh, put had in the in the mini chopper. So this seasoning I'm going to put into the some in the bottle and some and some I have into this bowl here because I need just need to stir it all together. And also I'll be adding the salt at this time because I want every piece to get some garlic and some some hot pepper. I want all the pieces to taste some of this uh, some of this marinating garlic marinade that I have here. So, so I'll just give this a stir and make sure it's they are all they all get in contact with the garlic. Remember, we are not touching it again with our hands, so we're using a spoon to get it all mixed together. Same with the ones that are that I have in here. I just use the spoon to stir it around and get it all, get the garlic in there. And if you think you need some more garlic, um, you don't think it's enough. You can always chop some more in the chopper and add it in here. Okay. So that looks good. So now I'm just going to transfer it all over and then we'll add the vinegar to it. So here we have it. Our marinating uh, pork for garlic pork. It's all set. We have all the... Um, the garlic and the seasonings in there and I added the vinegar um, as much as it could have taken and um, then I'm going to co cover this with some plastic wrap and an, an airtight uh, cap an airtight top so it will be setting for about four to five days before we can use it before we can um, enjoy this delectable uh, dish of garlic pork this is the garlic pork Guyanese garlic pork and Merry Christmas like share and subscribe and I hope you enjoy this recipe thanks for watching Once the liquid is dried out, it will start the frying process and start to get some color. And you leave it for another 10 minutes and to, or until tender.
own oil. This is done. Nice golden brown and it's tender.